Good morning. Hi, yes. Abigail. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Oh, I'm doing so good. Goodness. Aww. Well, thanks for being able to chat with us this morning. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I know that you're pretty busy today, so if you don't mind, we'll just kind of get right into it. Go for it. I'm with you all the way. Awesome. So, all right. So, how long have you lived in Appleton? I've lived in Appleton for, uh, this is my fourth year, I believe, uh, going on my fourth year being there. I came to Appleton in 2017. Okay, what's your favorite part about the area? I love my neighbors. They are so kind. I love the, the seasons, how they change, uh, even the falling leaves when they get kind of annoying and I have to rake them up. <laughs> but I love Appleton and just the the neighborly um, attitudes that are around me, like they're all so kind. I mean, I remember when I had done my blind audition, they all brought over papers and put them on my front door. <laughs> they were like, you might want these. You would have like sticky notes on them. You might want these. Uh, I love, I just love everyone. They're so kind and um, they don't treat me like I'm any, any different than them, which I love. I just want to, you know, be around them and, and share love with them. So it's beautiful being in a space where I can feel welcomed and, and have such a wonderful opportunity to share share my love with all of my neighbors and especially the students at Lawrence University. So I'm really, I'm really proud to be able to do that. I oh, love that. Well, going into your experience on The Voice, what's it been like? This experience of being on The Voice has been so incredible, Abigail. It's been one of the biggest dreams come true, uh, a dream that I do not wanna wake up from. I mean, even when I'm asleep, I'm dreaming about the show or the song that I'm going to be singing. Uh, but it's been just a wonderful opportunity to showcase what it's like to keep on going the distance to, even if you think that you've done a lot, what it looks like to do a course correction or to do a change, you know, to do a renovation perhaps, um, or to take away all the labels that people put on you and create your own lane. So it's been really an incredible time stretching myself uh, beyond what I thought was uh, capable, you know, for my, for my singing, for my voice. But every time I've stepped onto the stage, I've stepped onto the stage with the idea that anything is possible because I have worked really hard to get to that point. So it's been a beautiful moment in time, a moment I will never forget, uh, being able to share the space with so many incredible artists and, and be coached by one of the most legendary singers in the world, John Legend. So I've had an incredible journey. And I thank all of my, my Wisconsin Badger family for helping me to get to this point. I was going to say, I know you had him in tears the other day. What was that moment like when you were on stage and then especially when they called your name as you were moving on? Oh, I mean, you know, I've never felt like it was like a shoe in or anything like that. So I've always, you will see me the moment I step onto the stage, I bow my head in immediate prayer. Like, Lord, please don't let me be going home right now. But if you do, Lord, I, just give me the peace that surpasses all understanding, you know, that, and give me joy. But no, like I, I have had the most incredible time. And when they would call my name, I would just be so excited. But in the moment, because it's live, like you have to rush and get off the stage. I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. And I'm like hurrying, hurrying down the stairs. But it has been it's been so surreal because you know what I didn't know, and this is so true. I didn't know that what I was doing really mattered to people. I knew that it mattered to me, that it was really important to me to be a singer and to be a vessel uh, and uh, for good. And then uh, when, when people start writing me letters or sending me messages and, and reaching out to me, it lets me know that what I have, what I'm doing really matters. And so it's, it's been a beautiful moment to really connect with all of my fans, all of my holidays out there in Wisconsin. Um, and all over the world and uh, being told what I'm doing is making a difference. So it's, it's an incredible moment to have your name called and to know that you're moving on and that America has voted, voted for you. Awesome. So what can everyone kind of expect from you next week and why should Wisconsinites vote for you? Well, Abigail, if I told you every single thing about the show, then no one would tune into it. We got to have you watch the show, girlfriend. Uh, but no, I, I think that what you can expect for sure is that there. if you thought that you knew what I was going to be doing, think again. It's going to be a song that is rarely done on TV, so I, I'm getting ready for that. Uh, I'm going to be singing a duet with my coach, John, and in my wildest dreams, I could have never imagined that my name would ever be associated with John Legend, so let alone would I ever have thought that I would be performing with him. Um, so I'm going to be singing with him, and maybe some original music will happen. You just don't know. 
Uh, but the, one of the reasons I feel like Wisconsin should vote for me is because I, I hope that in many ways that I represent the ideals that Wisconsin stands for. More than anything, more than having a voice, I'm a good person and I've always shown my heart. And I think that that's the important uh, sign of a good artist is yes, we may, we may have something really beautiful to share, but deep down after all the lights are off, after every show is done, who are you inside? And I think that I've shown during this entire show what my heart is like. I've shown what my spirit, I think, feels like. And um, I, I want that to continue. And um, part of that is my upbringing in Texas. And a lot of that is just being around good people like all of you. Um, so I really hope that you'll vote for me and know that I promise to do my best and let God do the rest, as Big Mama would say. So I, I'm just thankful that you all have gotten me to this, to this moment. And for sure, what I know is that with you, I win. Without you, I wouldn't be here. And I'm just so thankful for the support, the love and the encouragement and all of the good vibes. This little boy from Rosenberg, Texas is so proud to be in the Badger State. Awesome. Well, we love that. And we wish you so much good luck and good, good luck with the rest of your interviews today. <laughs> Thank you, Abigail. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.